welcome back to Haya's Hive. All of you must have heard of Vancho cake. Today, I am going to show you how to make Vancho pudding. It's really delicious and tasty and you must try out this recipe. It has two layers, a chocolate layer and a vanilla layer. So let's start. So we are going to make this pudding with china grass. So the first step is you have to soak the china grass in water and let it to sit for a while. So I am using a packet of 25 grams of china grass and you need to take a I'll little also show more you how to than make chocolate half ganache of the and white chocolate ganache which is 20 now, grams of the packet. Now let's get on with the video which is 3 by 4 of the packet of 25 grams. Now we need to make two ganaches. First we are going to make the white ganache. Take half cup of cream which is you can use cooking cream or heavy cream and two tablespoons of butter and add 160 grams of white chocolate to this. If you are using white compound chocolate then you will have to take about one and a half bar of the bar of chocolate. So I took very little white chocolate but we need a lot more than that. So we have to add 150 grams. After adding the chocolate to this mixture of cream and butter on the stove and keep the fire very low. So stir the mixture on a very low heat until it melts and then your white ganache is ready. Now keep it aside, we are going to make dark chocolate ganache in the same way. Half cup of cream and for the dark chocolate we are using 150 grams of dark chocolate with some sugar because the dark chocolate is very bitter and mix it all together on low flame. And our dark chocolate ganache is ready. Now we are going to make the pudding layers. We will need 3 cups of milk and condensed milk. Use a little more than half or 3 by 4 of the tin of condensed milk. I used homemade condensed milk and I will link a video of that right above where the arrow is pointing. So make sure to check it out. Next, since the condensed milk will not be enough to make the pudding sweet, we will also add some sugar. You can add as much as you like. It's up to you. Now keep it in a small simmer and stir it well. Next, add about 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. At the same time, while we're stirring this mixture, just keep the soaked agar agar on the stove and stir that as well at the same time. Stir it well until the china grass or agar agar has been dissolved in the water and before the milk mixture boils add the china grass mixture to the milk mixture and boil it together while boiling you must not boil it for too long so right after boiling for some time turn off the stove or else it will become very thick and there will be thick pieces in it but it's okay if that happens to you because you can just blend it in the mixer and it will be alright. Before we continue, press that subscribe button and press the notification bell next to it and select all so you never miss my videos. Please press the like button. So I have added the china grass to the milk mixture and mixed it like I said before. I have also created playlists so that you can find my cooking and craft videos easily. When it reaches this stage, take it off the stove. Next, pour it into two different bowls. And to make the chocolate layer of the pudding, Add some melted chocolate or pieces of chocolate to one part of the mixture. The other part without the chocolate is going to be the second layer. Now we are going to pour it into the glass pudding bowl. If there are 
pieces of gelatin or chocolate in your mixture, you can just filter it before pouring it into the bowl. And you can add any toppings on top like cashew nuts or any other nuts. So I've added some cashew nuts. Keep it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. It will harden very fast because it is made out of gelatin. After the first layer sets, add your second layer, which is the milk layer without the chocolate. Next, add your white chocolate ganache and spread it around. Now take the dark chocolate ganache. I've put it into a piping bag. You can do any design you want. I'm just going to slowly drizzle the dark chocolate ganache on top of it. Now you can take a toothpick or a barbecue stick and just swirl it around. Slightly mixing the white and dark chocolate ganache. And here is how it looks. I had also made a second pudding. And I'm just going to decorate this pudding as well in the same way. This design came out a bit different. So you can try different techniques while trying this. This is a very delicious and tasty recipe and you will surely like it. Make sure to try it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.